So now we're going to make a post and to get the content, I translated the keyword um, string there to uh, Polish. I don't speak Polish, but I just translated it in Google Translate and I did a search in DuckDuckGo and I found an article here that once translated would look. So if I'm going to bring it back here to Polish, um, it looks decent enough just by doing a quick translate here. I noticed this is, um, yeah, I, I, I just skimmed the article and it was good enough for me to use. So I'm going to go with that. Why don't I use it the way it is? Because I want to translate it myself. I don't want uh, the Google Translate to do that. So I'm going to go to my translate uh, thing here, add a new uh, translation, and then I'm going to get the text. and the text is coming in it's a bit of a slower website apparently so i'm going to hit that again and there's the content now i've got to set my input my input is polish and i want to translate this to english and we don't need this part this is part of their header navigation stuff so we're not going to use that I'm going to select that bit and click in here and that's going to be my title content I'm going to make this uppercase like this or how to promote your business I'm going to change this to business on the internet I'm going to take that out. That's going to be my new title right there. <clears throat> Remove that. And we're going to start here. This is about something about six minutes. So this is part of the header. We don't want that. We're going to start our translation here. This is going to be my first paragraph. I just selected that, clicked in here, and there it is. Content is there. I'm taking straight from television. Okay that is a good read i'm going to translate the next one for example syndicate okay i'm going to make all this into one make that the same paragraph just like that yeah that looks good this is going to be my second paragraph now select click and i'm going to finish translating this thing and then um i'm going to show you the posting so I finished my translation here real quick and uh, I've added a few authority links to different areas, different pages, different authority pages. And I'm going to select who I'm going to post this article, who, uh, which account I'm going to put uh, post this on. And we're going to select, um, let's see, uh, it was the RSS one. Uh, we want to grab RSS right here, this one, and just, and we've got 1,308 words there, so it's a pretty nice, decent, long article. Click and send this content for posting, and just do that. Then I'm going to set the time I want this to go out. I want it to go out right now. And I'm also going to add a random image here. So let's see, images, uh, yeah, SEO is fine. And insert my image. There you go. Well, 100%, maybe too big of an image. I'm going to do like 60%. Let's see how that looks. Give it a second for the image to load in. And there you go. Yeah, not much of an image. I'm going to change that. Add another one in, do a preview. Okay, this this will do better, a little bit better. Maybe I'll add another image um, somewhere down here. Let's see, more near the middle here, let's say around here, just below that. 
add another image let's do a quick preview okay looks good I'm gonna post this now this is good enough decent article outbound links everything looking good I'm gonna post this so I'm gonna hit here uh, schedule for posting and you get the message all is set and click OK now we can go to the poster section and let's start the timer and let this article post gotta give it 30 seconds should be near posting and there it is it went out let's see yeah it went out so we're gonna stop that go back and we're gonna now check um, our uh, make because that was the first part of the whole setup if you remember we're doing this so right now what I did is using RSS contender to post to blogger and this blogger trigger is set on make make.com so we're gonna go to make here sign in let's see if I've got the right account yep I've got the right account okay and we're now going to post so I'm going to trigger this manually you normally don't need to do the manual trigger because I've got it set to trigger every three hours now instead of waiting three hours I'm just going to trigger it so we can see what's going on hit that and there it is it posted it to my blogger so if we go now to the blogger account we're going to see there's the post there's the content I'm going to drop a link to the content so you can see the the kind of content you get back from RSS contender when you uh, translate with the tool but here's the content all looking good and from here we're now going to trigger the ifttt ones to make sure that everything triggers okay so now we're moving over there so here we're in ifttt and since this is the one this section here is the one i'm most interested in right now to check make sure that everything is flowing okay i'm going to trigger the wordpress so from blogger to wordpress in ifttt so which is this one RSS contender setup and then let's hit a check now check completed view activity it may take about oh it ran there you go it ran so if all is good now we can go to um, our WordPress here and see a new post oops whoa, whoa that jumped a bit but there it is yep all good contents indication or how to promote your business on the internet perfect and there's the post it got syndicated through to wordpress the next one we want to check is make sure that WordPress passes it on correctly to Trello. So we're going to trigger that. We're going to go back to my applets and then we're going to check WordPress to Trello. And we're going to tell it to check now. Check completed. View activity. Now this one seems to take a second here. It's not posting directly. It may take a, uh, about five minutes. Let me hit a check again. Nothing happened, eh? Problem. Let's reload that. Okay, there was a little hiccup there for a minute. There was a little hiccup there. Um, but it uh, posted from WordPress to Trello. So now we want to check our Trello uh, board. And there's the post right there. When you click it, you've got the link uh, that I, uh, you know, the, the, the source link. You've got um, 
the post full post and you've got the image as a as an attachment to the post in Trello and it's looking good looks cool the next one we want to check is from WordPress to Twitter let's pull that one let's see how that comes in uh, WordPress to Twitter check okay and there you go it ran from WordPress to Twitter so let's check check our Twitter account real quick and there's my post there's my Twitter post there's the image and there's the link to the source WordPress so Twitter is linking nicely to my WordPress article. So that's all good. Next one, we're going to check a WordPress post to Toledo. Check complete. Check the activity. It ran. So let's go to Toledo and how can your business benefit from rss let's see if this is the one um this doesn't seem to be the one yep seems like there was a glitch there too um but anyway it got sorted um and there's there it is content syndication or how to uh, promote your business and when you click that You've got the article in full. And you've got a link to the original. It's all looking good to me. So we know that this part of our um, setup is running smoothly. RSS contender to Blogger to WordPress and then uh, these other three items. So we can continue the setup from here. But before I do that, I'm going to connect the Tumblr to Naro, Get Pocket, and then um, Weebly to Google Calendar in the next part.